Okay, so on to part two. So we have uh, Lucy working. Um, now the next thing we need to do is actually format our iSCSI volume uh, and we're going to format it with GFS2. So hopefully if we do a makefs dot gfs2 p that's our locking mechanism. Um, now this part here you want to make sure that is your name of your cluster that you're going to be creating within Lucy. Four journals, uh, and I think uh, is SDB. I think. Before I do that, let's just double check. It is. It is there. So we're formatting this eight gig partition. That's fine. Now on each node we need somewhere to mount it, so uh, let's do a make directory san and then a make directory sanvol1. I need to do the same on here too when it's finished formatting. Just waiting for that to complete at the moment. There we go, the formatting is completed over here. So again, this is on node 1 again, we need to create um, the directory called SAN and then SAN vol 1. And that's where our GFS2 partition is going to be mounted. Um, okay, now let's... We also need to ensure that this service has been started. So we need to start it on here, uh, and let's also do it on node 2 as well. Okay, and the next thing we need to do is check the status of the quorum disk daemon. So we need to start that. Uh, and then we need to check that our web administration is going to be started when we reboot. Normally you wouldn't be running your all your management cluster management tools on one of the clusters. Ideally it would be a separate box because um, as it stands at the moment when I run, when I kill node 1 I lose the ability to be able to manage the cluster even though the cluster is going to be up and functioning uh, I will lose the ability to be able to um, actually play around with it. And let's just double check that's okay good and we need to we're not running Lucy on here however we do need to check whether Q disk D is working and we need to change that to on so we've got um, Ricky installed we've got Lucy working we've got the quorum disk on both um, I think we're about ready to start up to actually create the cluster. Let's go in and have a check. For some reason Windows XP seems to be preoccupied with something else. Clear that and clear that. Open filer is currently logged off. Still waiting for this to recover at the moment. Okay, so let's log in. Right, so let me click yes to that. Click continue. 
So if we click on cluster, create a new cluster, cluster name we know is going to be cluster 1. We can remove one of those because we're only doing a two node cluster. This is the root password. These do have to be FQDNs. Okay, let's do view SSL certs. Okay, so it's connected to node 2, but it hasn't connected to node 1. And um, that's because I can't type. Okay, let's try again now. Good. So let's do submit. Create cluster 1. I'm going to this can be quite a lengthy process so I'm going to press pause while it does this and if any error messages pop up or any warning things I'll, I'll unpause it for you. So there we go that's completed successfully. Now we are using a quorum partition so we want to um, do is use a quorum partition. The interval we're going to put there is 1, votes 1, the TKO is going to be 10, minimum score 1. The label here we're going to have as quorum because that's what we called the uh, let's have a look here a second if I do where do we do the quorum there we go you can see here command 30 the label that we called it there is what you're placing there okay path to program well we're going to use ping which is very very basic uh, we want two pings and we're going to be pinging our SAN interval. We're going to have that as every what one second, something like that. Um, and then we're going to have a score of one. Okay, then when you go to cluster. What you should see here is you see total cluster votes three. Now that might look a bit strange because we've only got two nodes, but the reason why it's three is you have uh, one vote for each node and then one vote for the quorum partition. So even when you in a two node cluster, you have three votes, and if one of the nodes went down, you'd have a total of two node two, two votes. One again, one for the node, one for the quorum partition. Now, if you um, come back and it says um, here, it says cluster votes two, um, then what you need to do is what essentially I just did there, which was to restart the quorum disk daemon. And I did that on both devices, both nodes. And then once I went back into here and did refresh a couple of times, then uh, total cluster votes changed to three. Okay, let's just do a quick test. Uh, the first test we're going to do, let's get rid of that, um, is check that we can actually mount our um, GFS partition on each node. At the moment, our GFS partition is dev sdb. So let's mount that. So we want to mount dev sdb. And we're going to mount it onto san san vol1. There it is, there it's mounted. So now let's go back and unmount it. It's gone to node 2, exactly the same thing. So mount dev sd. Just check that it's the same one here as well. sdb, so mount dev sdb. We're going to mount that on san, san vol 1. dfh, there it is again. So let's drop back and unmount it. Uh, now let's do a couple of tests. Um, how about we do this one? Let's do cman tool status. Uh, and now this will let you know, um, for example, you have here, you've got two nodes. Um, you're get, getting a one from your core room, so your total is three. 
uh, and then if we mount the um, GF device there's some other tools that we can use um, and it's GFS2 underscore tool list and then you've got a DF as well which gives you all the information about the GF device you've currently got mounted GFS even But okay, well we've got a, a relatively good um, basis now for going ahead and configuring, or doing the rest of configuration um, within um, Lucy for configuring our resources and configuring our services, which is what we're going to be doing in the next video.